Hi everyone, in this demo we're going to show you how to get set up in Ventures Online Workbooks as a teacher. Now that's going to include registering for Ventures Online Workbooks and also setting up a class in Ventures Online Workbooks. Now it's important to note that your students cannot register for Ventures Online Workbooks until you've set up a class and provided them with a class code, which we're going to show you how to do a little bit later on in the demo. Now, before we get started, there are just three things that you need in order to get going. The first is an access code, which can be obtained where we are right now, which is venturesowbs.cambridge.org. Um, you would simply go down here, click on teacher, fill out a form, and then it's going to email you an access code. Now you can also get this through your local Cambridge representative. The second thing you're going to need is about 10 to 15 minutes of your time. That's about how long it takes to get registered. And the third thing you're going to need is reliable internet access. Okay, so once you've got those three things, the first step is to open up your browser and once again, visit this website. That's Ventures, O-W-B-S, that stands for online workbooks, dot Cambridge, dot org. Once you're here, you're going to scroll down a little bit to this new user section. You see this over here on the bottom right. In this blank box, you are going to enter the access code that was emailed to you after you filled out the form by clicking on that link we talked about before. Once you've entered your access code, it's usually easiest to copy and paste it from your email. Just click on the submit code button right here. The next thing you'll see is this screen. We are going to want to fill in the information on the right hand side of the screen in order to create your account. So we've got the basic first name and last name, then we've got the email field and make sure to use a working email address. Um, the next thing you need to enter is a password. So uh, just make sure that it's something unique and something that's easy for you to remember. Over here we've got the terms and conditions. You can click on this link to take a look at those. Once you've read them, click this checkbox to say that you have read the terms and conditions, and then click Submit right over here. Then you'll see this pop-up that we're looking at now where you'll be asked once again to confirm that you have read the End User License Agreement is what they're calling it here. Um, you can click on this link in order to access that, and once you've taken a look at that, you can check this checkbox over here, and then click Accept. So now you're registered, you're logged in, what you've got to do is create your class. And there's no limit to how many classes you can create. Um, in order to create your class, what you're going to do is find this link right here that says create new class and click it. Then you're taken to this screen. Um, you can name the class whatever you want over here. Uh, but what's important, what's most important right on this screen is the class code and that's this grouping of letters right here. You're going to want to record that class code and give it out to your students and however you see fit. This is how your students will be associated with the correct class when they sign up for their Ventures Online Workbook. Once you're satisfied that you've got the class name correct, click Create Class. You'll see this uh, note saying that your class is being created but you have now done what you need to do. Um, once you create your class, your students can now sign in and use the class code that you have given them in order to sign up for the correct class.